Okay, so welding around the front end's all sorted now. I'm just giving it a quick coat of etch primer to stop it from rusting up. Now it's on to making the rest of this front end fit. There's the group A style spoiler there, which has to be grafted to this. Very good. Dummied it up and chopped the, uh, the bottom out of this. Hopefully in the right spot. But it might be difficult to see in there, but that doesn't line up all that well. Might have to make another bracket up to hold to hold those bolts in properly. As you can see, they're not even coming through the original part there. And it sort of looks like it's up at an angle, but the top's okay. And when the bonnet goes down. bonnet goes down it seems to sit okay but anyway and these the sides they're located by the, that screw up in there and they fit all quite well up to the guards same on this side the screw up there what I figured out I'm gonna have to do is because of those tags that are on there actually go up and look like they screw onto those those bits there. It can't really be put on as one piece. So there's a bolt there and a bolt through there and one underneath as well which I will undo. But what I'll do first is I'll I'll drill a couple of holes, 3mm holes through there and pin it so that these stay in the right alignment because there's no bar going across between them. They're just sort of two freestanding pieces which you'll probably see a little bit later. What I might do there is weld a nut on the back of it and put some countersunk head screws down through there into it. That way we can bolt it on there after it's been put on without trying to put those brackets through the frame at the same time which I don't think will work. Of course this is my first time doing this one and I haven't seen the instruction manual on how to do it. If one actually exists, I'm sure someone's done it in the past. But, uh, we'll make it up as we go along. I've managed to extract these brackets from behind the bunk bar. The top two bolts came out easily and I just had to grind the bottom ones out. Not sure if you can see that or not, but there's a, a couple of dowel pins there that I, I drilled holes for before I took the bar off. So, put them back in the right position. They don't take any load, it's just there to align then the bolts end up taking all the load. So the bar's sitting back on there now. And that screw is locating it that side and the same on this side there. And that gives me a bit of room now to play with it for a little bit of adjustment. What I do is I'll, I'll put some nuts on the back side of it, probably weld some nuts onto it, and then just get some countersunk socket head screws down through there to be able to tighten it all up when it's all in the right spot. And I'll look at putting that on it now as well. You see, you can't get it on, you can't get that, especially these lugs here. onto it with those brackets on the back of the bar. Because you can see that they come in at an angle there. They, they can't really be pushed straight in. It doesn't quite clear over that um, over that bit down there. Just 
all part of the fun and games. Well, this worked fairly well in dress rehearsal, so we'll see how it goes this time. So we got the bumper bar without the brackets. And this bit cut out. Sand sits inside. That'll go all joined together later on. These I've got to go up under there first. bit of imagination and a little bit of masking tape you can sort of see where we're heading now so that's the original bumper back in its original location and the new bumper's just sitting on that it's not held on by anything at all at the moment Needs to be a bit of a bit of bonding, bit of screwing, maybe a bit of fiberglass work, definitely some filler work. We're on our way. Okay, so the next fiberglass bit to get sorted is the bonnet scoop, and it's. Uh, Purely decoration, no function to it, so there's not going to be any holes, extra holes cut in the bonnet. It'll just be the holes that uh, are used for the fasteners. Couldn't find anything on the net to give me any exact dimensions, but I've had a look at a few pictures. And this cutout here is obviously for the vents that have to go in there at a later date. Uh, the whole back of it's open, so. What I'm probably going to have to do is, is finish the bonnet underneath that to start with because it can still get water and everything down in there so it doesn't want to be left as undercoat or anything like that so I'll probably have to finish that part of the bonnet then put this on of course that'll be all over spray out there by that point in time and then put this on and then finish the bonnet So after I measured it out and made sure it was in the centre, I just marked around it with a pencil so that I know where to get it back. Now this moulding comes with absolutely nothing there, but it looks like that's where the fasteners have come up through. I've got to somehow transfer the location of those onto the bonnet. So what I'm planning on doing, and which I've done here already, is put a nut set in there, um, put a dab of super glue on it before I put it in there to hope, hopefully make sure it doesn't turn. And once I've got a few of those in place, in fact probably all of them in place, I can then put some threaded, uh, well it won't be a bolt, it'll just be a thread in there with a little pointy end on it, up in that back onto the bonnet and jiggle it around a little bit and it should mark on the bonnet in this undercoat where I need to drill the holes through. At the end of the day it'll all be getting bonded on there so the bolts themselves won't be holding it on. Anyway, that's the plan at the moment. And the front bus for us still sitting there from last night, I haven't done anything to it yet. Okay, so to get those nuts it's in, first thing I used was a bit of 120 grit, so that's a bit rough there. And a block of wood. Just gave it a quick sand down until it was flat. And then 
about a three and a half mil drill bit because that's what was in the drill at the time. And then a seven mil drill bit because that's what the size of the nut so it is. Slow and carefully because it doesn't take much to to go through it like that. Now these nut certs are the flange type. They don't need to sit flush in there because they're already hollow. And to a little bit of reassurance, a little bit of super glue, just around the outside. Don't know if it needs it or not, but can't hurt. There you go, rinse and repeat for the rest of them. Although I'm not sure what I'm going to do in here because I think it's too close. I might have to move it back into this part here. So it's sitting there where it's going to go. I've put all the nuts hurts in and just wound some uh, button head socket screws in there. And what I've done now so is I've written down here this is the location of a, a hole and how far in it is to the bolt. Now I'm not just going to put a hole in there blindly. What I'm going to do is get some plasticine and put it in about those spots, drop the scoop down onto it and it should mark out where they're going to go. You could also put paint on the end of the bolts but when you put it down if it moves and it smudges you don't quite know where it goes. Got some pretty pink plasticine, just because it was the next one out of the box. And if I get some three five, so it's going to be about about there. This may not work. First time I've tried it. We don't need the blob to be that big. See a nice strong bonnet this one. Bolts that are going through these are M5s, M5 nut sets, and uh, so I'll make the holes six mil. Gives it a little bit of movement room. Right. that they've all stayed in the same spot and I haven't lifted off. That's where I need to drill my holes. Doesn't move, that 
hasn't moved. That one's right in the corner. Almost missed that one. So what I can do now with the scribe is go straight down through the center. Mark. Right on the edge of that. And so on and so forth. I'm not going to center punch any of these because I think that would uh, might dent the bonnet a little bit. turning back now. That one's actually just for a bit of a double layer there. <laughs> Alright, to finish these off neatly, we'll use one of these step drills. Just a little bit friendlier on the thin sheet metal. This one's actually going through a brace down the back, but it's still on a flat piece, so it's not too bad. I'll just get a, a normal 6mm drill to finish that off through the inside. Six. Gently leaves a nice little, very clean hole, a nice little chamfer on it. Six. Okay, let's see if we can get any of these to line up. I'll always get the first one to line up. There's through a bit of a double panel, so I don't think I'll get one on there now. I'll have to get a, a slightly longer screw and make up a, a little flat area for it to sit on. And so I've got that one, there should be one around here somewhere. It's just clear that brace on the inside. I 
Put that one in too. There we go, that one's started. And that one started. That's not too bad. It's just a little bit out. If you can see it, that one started. Okay, so that's not too bad. Having a bit more of a think about this, what I might do on the inside, around about here, is build a fence across there. That seals off that from the inside, so that it can't get crap down in there. And this back bit's just open. Okay. Well, back at looking at the front spoiler at the moment. That sits up under there. So I'm going to put a couple of screws up through there to hold that there for the time being. And then get that level and put a screw through the back of it as well. Do the same on the other side. Maybe a couple up through a couple up through here somewhere just to hold it in place. So that I can take it off as a unit. So all this needs to be filled in somehow. Glass it into there. And that sits up up there as well. And that's the bonnet scoop enough for now anyway. It's all it's on there, I've got the screws in it from the other side. Okay, so I think I've figured out what I'm gonna do to hold this spoiler on as a temporary measure until it gets all bonded. It'll get glued and bonded on there. I've got these screws. No idea what size they are. They've been sitting around here for a couple of years. They're about that long. And they look a bit like that countersunk. Probably for something like plasterboard or chipboard or something like that. I'm going to go along every doesn't need to be very much just to hold it up so what I'd do first is drill through with a about three and a half followed up by a, a six just on the fiberglass itself just on the outside and then finish it off with a, a countersunk bit like that so that the head of that is is below the outside of that and what I do on that is rough the head up with sandpaper, put it in there, and then it can be filled over. This whole edge needs a tidying up anyway. It's just straight out of the fiberglass mould and there's a bit of a hole through there that needs to be filled, so it needs to have a little bit of work done on that edge anyway. Actually, just remember that's a bit below three. It just has to be to suit the size of that because it'll go straight through the bumper. I'm going to do it about there. There's no science involved. Just as long as you check behind to make sure there's nothing behind the bumper first. Okay, so that's that one. And remember this second one just goes through the fiberglass. Like that.
Now remember these aren't structural, it's just to hold it in place until it's taken off the car and, and bonded into place. Okay, moving on to the passenger side now. It's not quite going where it needs to go. There's the mark there. But I figure out the main cause of that is this thing here that's moulded into it. There's one on the other side as well, but it seems to be okay. Now, I don't know if this car's had a hit at some point in time or whether it's just on in the wrong spot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off about there. Leave me room to put a few holes in it and I can just make up a steel bracket to come down off that. That should then let this go up where it needs to go because at the moment it, it won't go up any higher because of that. Time to make some dust. those two lugs off which I'll allow it to go forward a lot easier all the temporary fastenings are in place now and I've just worked out that I uh, can get a socket head uh, countersunk screw down through there that's the steel bumper bar bracket there and I can get it through that hole there to get a nut behind it there and one one there and one down in there so I won't have to weld any captive nuts on there anywhere which is good oh a bit more progress <laughs> 